What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Last time, we did finally make it to Cosmo Canyon and got ourselves a chocobo. So, Apony is going to help get us through this area. Um, there's also a side quest we could do right now, but I will not do it. We're heading for this. So, we're going to do this. We're going to just go to the main area if I can navigate there. Um, which I think I am, so that's good. You think Cloud will end up killing uh, Roche if he turns evil? Well, obviously something's going to happen to him. Yeah, I was just thinking because of the location they're in that maybe it'll be somebody else. But you could be right. It could be Roche. Oh, I, there we go. Oh. Right, come here, Kate's it. Alright, so we need to get our Moogle out. And then pop Moogle Mine! Nice. And do it again. And again. No time to celebrate. come back from the dead, right? And that that's a bad thing. So, what I want to know is, how do they do it? And what's he after? He wants to save the planet. But, wouldn't that make him a good guy? It's not what he's doing, but how. He doesn't give a shit if everyone dies in the process. Sounds like a total nutter. I mean, there's not much point in having a planet if there's no one left to enjoy it, is there? That's it. Let's not forget these two. I was trying to read what Barrett was saying. Way. Yeah. Keep it together. Do it again. And do it again. And it's mastered. There we go. Alright, party change up. Boy, the Beat his ass! Come on. Damn. Alright. And we'll do reverse scale. Let's go. 
Like, what if she just jumped off the cliff right there? Oh god. Behold Cosmo Canyon. A sacred sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, me too. Let's go. I smell Queen's blood opponents. Oh, we can. All right, we'll do that jump later. Got some guards up ahead. Hey, guys, it's me. Come back. What the hell? Nanaki? I can't believe it. It really is you. What was that voice? <laughs> we were so worried. Oh, come on. Whoa. What is going on? Why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. Why did Red's voice change like that? Uh, you can let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me. Who? <laughs> He's such a softie. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters <laughs> for the terrorists who bombed those reactors. <laughs> But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all oh, that. Oh, it's the ones Reeve dropped. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Pretty to the proud of yourself Planetology. for some reason, huh, Kate Cosmo Sith? Canyon. Well, yeah. I want to know why Red's voice changes. <gasps> Queen's blood. Where? Where are they at? Show them to me. Can you believe it? You see that wanted poster? Pictures look nothing like us. Must be that way for a reason. Gotta keep on our toes. Oh, there goes Red. I knew that his real name was Nanaki, but I don't remember the, the voice changing thing. I don't remember. Unless that's new. I guess he, well, he wasn't voiced, obviously, in the original game. Something about this <laughs> You're killing my tough, bad personality. Who's a good kitty? Me. <laughs> Red 13. <laughs> He's a doggo cat. He's a dog. Red 13's a doggo. Not a kitty. So who's a good boy? Born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a watcher of the veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home, I mean, and I've Red talk, my Red has a you, similar voice to this, and I, I have plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Nana, hey, is that you, my boy? Coming! He said duty. <laughs> so, was that goodbye? No. Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why did we come here? So that was his voice a long time ago when we heard it. Right. Come so he on. only talks that way. To, was talking that way to Aerith. As for me. Ah, that will do. Oh, he has to recharge his batteries. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. 
Don't. Then we can see the sights. <clears throat> date time. Double date. Triple date. I guess. I don't know. What's up, girl? Oh, wait. Where'd Barrett? Uh, Barrett's still in the party, though. That's Red's persona. <laughs> Look at these rock formations. The erosion process must have started all right, Queen's blood time, baby. Let's do it. Traveler, you've more than a passing interest in Queen's blood. It has bewitched you. Be at ease. It is only natural to hear its call. Queen's blood is of the planet and for the planet. It, like all things, is part of the great cycle that connects game. us. Indeed, each and every card holds within it a greater purpose. One that belies their form. Come, join me in a match that you too may glimpse the truth of our great mother. Well, I think one thing this game has definitely done, Billy, is added a lot to all of the characters, like compared to the, I mean, the OG was good, but like, I think this really fleshed everyone out a lot better, especially like Yuffie um, and, and, you know, Kate did as well. But, I mean, everybody. They just have a they have a different like you there's more personality here I guess it's not you making their personality up and their voices up in your head now you're actually hearing it so it just adds a lot. We even played Queen's Blood in a hot minute. I'm about to get fucked, probably. Holy fuck. Okay, yeah, that's bad. Of course, I get a fucking ah <sighs> bad hand. Right, I think it's the fact that she was optional. That's why it adds so much in this one. I like my Shinra soldier start. Oh, there now, now we're cooking. Fine, I'll give that. Well, not really, I guess. Get our boy out here. Probably game right there. God damn. Yeah. All right, they're not fucking around anymore. I like that deck though. All the buffs. Take control of the middle here.
It's gonna be close. I don't I think they're gonna buff themselves up too much. Yeah. I got no one drops. Damn. Oh, we can beat him. Um, let's do this. That, that snail thing is so fucking difficult to deal with. We're probably gonna lose the top. We can grab it back though. Like squirrel. I, I'll save the free for right now. And we'll play. We'll grab the middle. Lose a two drop though if we do that. Let's do that. We'll do this. It's fine. They can pick what they want to steal. They're gonna still. They're gonna still bottom again. That's okay. Oh, all right. Nice play, nice play. We won. All right. I knew we could... Uh, maybe not. Get the big boy out. There we go. Trump card played. Hopefully. They could have a swap card, though. Oh, all right. There we go. Just got to get that right, that right combo. All right. Raise power of allied and enemy cards on a fake by four and people lower. Wait. How do you pick? A turn I did not expect, which confirms my fears. A strange, wicked heart comes over the life's blood captain. And a similar dark energy has corrupted Queen's blood. Be careful. The game's pleasures belie the thorns beneath that will bleed you slowly and surely. Many devotees have succumbed to the darkness of which I spoke. Too many. Remember. The cards are a link between us and the planet. If you are in trouble, reach out. She shall answer. Oh, great mother. Trust in the heart of the cards, baby. Congratulations. You have attained the rank of Blood Captain. Cloud, Wise, the AI you met on the ferry, has undergone a software update. It presently resides in the Dust Bowl. I advise you to challenge it and gauge its new and improved capabilities. All right, so that's somewhere in this area, I assume. Oh, all right. Well, we might as well fight. We might as well duel. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Where was that at? Well, it looked like somewhere we've been already. Was it here? We're not in the Dust Bowl, though. Are we? Uh, oh, is it? Have we just not been there yet? Challenger. Hello, sir. 
Care to tell the folks at home who you are? Ha ha ha! Could this shark be more of a guppy? Well, I spy a row of razor sharp teeth in this little fishy's maw. You might be the QB killer we've been waiting for, but there's only one way to find out. That's right, our audience to up the ante, our challenger's opponent will be. All right, let's do it. All right, what is that? Where's that new card at? Where's that Two Face? What is this? Death Claw? Where's Two Face? I want to build a destroy deck as well. When did we get the Great Malboro? A while back, I think. Yeah, a destroy deck would be kind of cool. We'll throw a two face in, and we'll go. How do I switch? Oh no! Stop! Oh my god! What, what button is it? To go back. Drop that. All right. When first and people lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by two. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and drop you. Play the rest. Oh, nice start. Time for burp. Or, actually, let's do this. Then burp. That gives us a three drop up top for big chocobo. All right, that locks him out of a lot right there. Ah, fuck, it doesn't. That's okay though, we're good, we're good. Let's do this. That's game. Unless they have a, a swap card. Ah, shit, they do. Alright, so we can play. Mm, nothing great right there. Let's do Spearhawk. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Alright, that's not the worst thing in the world. Kind of waste that three drop. Damn. So many swap cards. I think we lost, yeah. in the wrong place. It's okay. Actually, that's okay. That's game. That repeat card thing's hard to deal with. Um, drop you and you. All right.
Alright, how does this work? So we don't know until we do it. That three drop should be safe back there. deal with that. A destroy deck would actually be pretty good for this. Try something different. Played the wrong card there. Alright, drop that, drop that, drop that, keep that. Alright. Play that there. Then throw a Titan in the middle. So Freed set up for up top now. Lock him out of this here. All right, we're good. We're good. This should be a win here, I think. Yeah, because we locked him out of everything useful now. And that's game. Alright. That was hard that time. This deck's not bad. We just need some better buff cards, I think. Which I think we have. I just need to sit down and look at it a little better. We got oh, yeah, Reaper Tail, right? Talk about Carnage, am I right? I'm lucky I got out of that match with my limbs intact. He made a serious something tells me this better starts. Congratulations, though we found the canyons. Stay tuned because we've got more Shut coming up. your way. All right, um, go find red. I can't believe that was his voice the entire time. That is wild. I thought this was some unique character or whatever that Aerith was talking to that was new to, Re to Rebirth, and it's just Red, Red's persona voice. Or not his persona, but his regular voice. <laughs> ah, not so fast. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. I'll be back for that later then. Do 
Dude, red so fast. Hey, there we go. What's up, orb dude? Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. Is that materia? My name is Wilkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. <laughs> 40 what? <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say yeah, he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our veil and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good for nothing father. Ah, daddy oh. issues. <laughs> Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and the only orb of flood material in the world? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. Ah, uh, yes. Sage. You're pretty, you're, uh, you're pretty sure the next thing will be the quest that proves to him that his dad wasn't a good for nothing. Oh God. Nanaki never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. I thought Cloud was about to pull his sword on the old man. I'm like, dude, chill. A warm welcome to you, friends of Nanaki. Book. Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. Book backlog. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say it probably won't be optional here. Then retry. Represents the people who live upon it. Dude, big book. Can Cloud even read? Oh. <laughs> Do you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. Can I even read now? We've established this. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm. Well, I suspect it can't detect much now. Doors. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. Fine. Oh, we can go up higher. Who can hogging cosplay when? <laughs> that would be hard to pull off, honestly. I think a cloud cosplay would be a lot. It would be easier. You could probably probably buy his little literal outfit online somewhere. Bugenhofen, I'm not so sure of. Oh, oh, oh. You won't find a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. I didn't even look it through it. How do we know it's dirty? Look at that view! Praise the sun. Oh wait, where's the sun? There it is, somewhere up there. The lights we observe here have traveled to us. All right, uh, where are we going now? 
There's so much we have yet to learn about the universe. Back downstairs. Push you beyond. I'm not saying I'm all that interested in the future, but that's just how do I get up here? Help! I'm lost. Oh, there it is. Phonograph of the planet. <gasps> That's the planet crying out. A sorrowful dirge indeed. Dirge, dirge of Cerberus. Reference too often of late. confirmed. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> A fascinating account. Were it true? However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see it. Alright, Bugenhagen. Um, Come on, buddy. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. Maybe you're unfamiliar. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. All right, Cloud, grab the sword. Let's end this now. A planetological review. Oh, is it like a solarium or whatever it's called? I present to you planetarium, planetarium, not solarium. Oh my god. Either way. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado. Is he blind? I think he is. If you, but his eyes are like whited out. No, I'm, I'm good. Cookie. Wow. Actual cutscene. <laughs> this is only the beginning. A shooting star. Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Every good RPG Rather, has a planetarium scene. It is a quest scene. to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. So Sephiroth came back. An apt name. Though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream. It does not be the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if 
If ever that essence were to be entirely depleted. So I was referencing um, Legend of Dragoon, Final Fantasy X, and this game. Of course, these are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry. That energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory. Suggestive of a lack of understanding. This dude is shitting on Tifa. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Maybe oil is our live stream. Maybe. It's not a good sign, though, if it is. Alright. Well, thanks for that, I guess. Kind of being a dick, but, you know, it is what it is. Alright, where am I going? I'm going back down. <laughs> Kill the old man when no one's looking. Here we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. Well, I thought about it right there when he insulted Tifa. I could feel it. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Oh, we're going right back there. Oh, we have to follow him? Ow. Let me in. What you got down here? Give me that. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. It's a whatever race of animal. Is that one of us baby red 13 and his mom and dad? What else we got here? Can't tell what that. I can't really tell what that is. Three miners maybe? Life spring. Five thousand gil, baby. Where's the weapons, though? You guys got weapons here? More doggos? How cute they are. I don't. I mean, I guess it's like a dog cat thing. It's a red thirteen. All right, where's the fucked up shit we're going to find here? <gasps> I see purple. Oh, another another weapon for uh, Kate Sith, which I can't. Can I do that now? Yeah. All right, buddy, get that crystal megaphone. Moogle magic using equip summons ability can only use while riding Moogle during battles. Oh, that's sick, actually. Uh, I like that one, and we'll do do that. And then you can fit more materia now. You're a casty boy, so I mean, we should give you what do you got? Poison, wind, and empowerment right now. 
Um, have a take a take a lightning. Give me a little caster boy. Hi. I was loud in there for the record. Oh no, where are we? I uh, think we're just wrapping back around. Yeah. Okay, so I, I think we want to go back down. Yeah. Got to find the elevator. Which I think was back here. Maybe. Yeah, it's right over here. I'm excited to explore this area. It's gonna be really cool, I think. This village is lame. Did you know none of the material here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. <laughs> Honestly, agreed. Within you all. All right, are we going to find Barrett or Red? I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you oh. would. Which not gonna lie, you'd be, you'd be spitting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she's not wrong. I ask you this: Who among you has looked in? Cloud's due for a new weapon too now. So is I'm I feel like I missed one of Aerith's weapons. She has not got one in a the long time. Please be respectful. I've um, always been on the bigger side, but I've never been into physical stuff. They're just kind of assholes here compared Painting to the AG. Poetry yeah. are more my thing. My old man, he he used to say it was a waste. What, are we at an AA meeting? What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? Weapon. I fell into the life stream. Uh. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't, I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just, you know. <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever Wow, I actually like this guy. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The river of lights is almost upon us. So let us head to the torch. I'll see you at the festival. 
Cloud, you can speak up sometimes, you know. Like, you can use your words. There is no seminar being held here at the moment. All the time I've spent here, this it's so All right, let's go do the next thing. We are siblings all. We yearn to chase the horizon. Ooh, how do I get there? Oh, nice. Happy little accident. The old man is 130. God damn. You talking about Bugenhagen, I assume? It was Barrett. Look who's awake. Oh, are we talking to the party right now? We are. All right. Well, we got to start off with best girl. Some carry a fire that rivals even this. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. I I think that was the right thing to say, hopefully. I feel it feels like it was. Alright, what's up, big boy? I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. They do feel kind of like cultists retry. Disguise, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, but nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Dude, we're gonna get the date with Barrett. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. Who are we to quench such noble passion? Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me and Mom and Dad. Now kiss. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... It is so sorry, weird hearing him talk this way. Still it's so way. weird. All right. Yuffie? When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have I ever heard. I think it's heard. correct, though, Yuffie. Once you die, that's that. Not true, actually. Why do you think that? Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. Well, Sephiroth is proof, for the record. <laughs> Oh, we didn't miss a conversation with Aerith, I don't think. Oh, I missed Kate's hit. Fuck. Whoops. Several died. For sure. You kill him in the OG and they kill him in Advent Children. I guess Advent Children's not as clear, I guess, as the OG. Ancient, as in a steward of the planet. Correct, retry. One gotcha. of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way... Ever since I was little, my blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. 
It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. Okay. I didn't want to do that because I felt like that was the right thing to do. And I want Tifa to be the date. So my blood's been a curse. But it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life. Friends that I love. Blair. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy Just even. watch out for flop, for falling swords. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. Oh my god, if they did it right here, that'd be wild. Dude, it's gonna hit hard whenever that happens. Oh, is it a little lantern? At least, yeah, a little lantern festival thing. I'm upset I missed the Kate Sith. I, I forgot to talk to him. I didn't see him. He's so short. Or if that happens. Yeah, true. Now go out with Barry. Step away, Cloud. Pretty sappy, huh? <laughs> He's not gonna reply. <laughs> Meant every word, though. Oh God, retry. <laughs> so, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? All right, we'll what go a little bit longer with this episode. I want to see what happens. For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, I they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat. And it pleases My me to know that the River air. of Lights possesses such power. My hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them. Be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation. Yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. 
<laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Oh, he's floating Even fast now. He's like Naruto running with the orb for floating. <laughs> he brings us to a weapon. I was reading that line, do puppy do it for daddy. Imagine if Sephiroth talked to Cloud that way when he tries to control him. <laughs> he was once a weeb. We proceed. Uh, but I thought this door was sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes, and by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a watcher of the veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. All right, this is probably a good spot to wrap up right here. So if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Next time, we're going to undertake the trial with um, Red 13 and see what happens. So as always, thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.